everybody, John from ReplayStation here, and I've got some kind of impromptu pickups. Um, I'm in Newport, Rhode Island right now for some business at work, and um, picked up a few video games, so I figured I would show you, so check them out. Okay, first off, some things from GameStop. Uh, usually I don't condone going there, but uh, here's a little pro tip. All of their PS2 games right now are 75% off. They're trying to get rid of them since, I guess, the PS4 came out. So I picked up two PS2 games, uh, Neo Contra and Legaia 2. Um, they were, uh, Legaia 2 was $1.25 and Neo Contra was $1. Um, the problem is, is that all of the games are disc only. I don't know if this is all the game stops, but this one that I went to threw out every game case. I almost lost my mind at those people. Um, but... Uh, for for a dollar and a dollar twenty five, I'll uh, take my chances and maybe make some cases or something like that. Not too bad of a deal. So go pick up PS2 games before they all go bye bye. Um, and I picked up a few PSP games. Um, for three dollars I picked up um, Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron. Um, the case and the game don't match, but I picked it up because uh, well first off it's a really fun game. Three bucks is a good price. And um, as you can tell by the Peggy here, um, it's actually uh, the European case. I just love little quirky things like that. Region 2. Um, but inside, comes with a manual. But they gave, you see it's the ESRB there. So they gave me the American Greatest Hits disc, which kind of sucks, but that's GameStop for you. I just love interesting things like that. Um, this is R-Type Command which uh, I, th <laughs> I was kind of um, mistaken when I bought it, I guess. Um, I just saw R-Type, and I was like, yeah, dude, uh, R-Type game on PSP. And then uh, I didn't really look. But uh, R-Type returns with a bold turn-based strategy gameplay. Um, I don't know about you, but that's not the R-Type I know and love. Um, I'm not really a turn-based strategy kind of guy. Um, and then I looked up the prices on eBay, and they're going for a lot less than ten bucks. So I think this one's going to go back. Um, do your research, people, because it's GameStop. Um, last game I got. This one was cool. Darkstalkers Chronicle: The Chaos Tower. Um, it's kind of a mashup of all three Darkstalkers games. Um, I've played it for a few minutes so far. It's complete with the manual and. Uh, Kind of cool. Love Capcom fighters. And uh, it looks neat. So I'll give it a go. For five bucks, seems like a good deal. And the last thing, I guess I'll share it just because um, it is not gaming related at all. But I do love music. Some of you might know I, uh, I DJ. I love dance music. Um, but I picked up um, at a place called Newberry Books. Uh, Tiesto is in search of Sunrise 7 Asia for uh, six bucks, which is a pretty good deal. Back when Tiesto actually played trance music. Uh, two disc compilation, mixed CDs, the In Search of Sunrise CDs are amazing, so. Um, six bucks for this, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Anything old in Tiesto was awesome to me, so. Anyways guys, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm gonna take our type back. Um, but anyways, um, like, comment, subscribe, do all that crap. And uh, we'll see you around next time here on Replaystation. This is John signing off.